AJVS.com, your worldwide leader of high vacuum equipment. Before you begin, make sure you disconnect the MVPO15 from its power source. Unplug the mains cable from the pump and the outlet. This is to ensure your safety and to prevent further damage to the pump. First, start by removing the vacuum line on top of the head and loosen bolts with a 14mm flat wrench and unscrew by hand and put off to the side. Turn the pump over on its side. Remove the side plate by removing all four screws with a 3mm Allen key. Carefully remove the old gaskets from underneath the side plate. Continue to remove valves from the intermediate plate. Use a pick to remove the very small gasket in the middle and put off to the side. To access the diaphragm, remove the intermediate plate and turn the pump back over on its side. Remove all the screws on the top plate with the Phillips screwdriver and place top lid to the side. Turn the pump over and reach in from the inside of the crankshaft housing to start the removal process of the old diaphragm. Use your fingers to gently loosen the edges of the diaphragm. Simultaneously use the other hand to push up the shaft while turning the diaphragm in a counterclockwise motion to remove it. This is to prevent the shim on the bottom of the diaphragm from falling down and getting lost. Take the shim out from the compartment and place off to the side. Place previously removed shim back on the new diaphragm threading. Hold the shaft straight up with one hand, and with the other hand, gently place the new diaphragm and shim down, and screw back into place. Push down on the rim of the diaphragm, and make sure it's sealed tightly into the shaft housing. Take the intermediate plate and make sure the number on the side corresponds with the side plate to ensure proper orientation and alignment. Take the two new valves and two new gaskets from the replacement kit and place them on top of the intermediate plate. Be careful to make sure the small gaskets are not slipping out of place when you turn the plate over to screw back into place on the shaft housing. Make sure the plate number corresponds to the same number on the sides to ensure proper orientation and alignment. Screw the plate back into place with a 3mm Allen key. Screw opposite diagonal screws 
to ensure proper evenly distributed tension. Flip the pump over on its other side. Remove the exhaust filter simply by unscrewing it with your hand and then remove the side plate by removing the four screws with a 3mm Allen key. Carefully remove the old gaskets from underneath the side plate. Then continue to remove the valves from the intermediate plate. Remove the intermediate plate. Turn the pump over and reach in from the inside of the crankshaft housing to start the removal process of the old diaphragm. Flip up the sides of the diaphragm and unscrew with your hands. Put the shaft in the highest position to get better access to the old diaphragm and securely remove the shim. Place the shim to the side. Take the new diaphragm and take the old shim and place at the bottom of the threading. Screw the diaphragm back in, holding the shaft with your other hand to prevent the shim from slipping. Press down on the perimeter of the diaphragm to secure in place on top of the shaft housing. Take the intermediate plate and align the number to the number on the shaft housing to ensure proper alignment and orientation. Install the two new valves on top of the intermediate plate by placing them on top and pushing them into place. Align the side plate with its corresponding number to ensure proper alignment and orientation and screw back in with a 3mm Allen key. Before sealing the shaft housing, spin the shaft to make sure everything is moving properly. Place the lid on top and screw back into place with the Phillips screwdriver. Screw in diagonal screws first to ensure equal tension is distributed on the lid. Screw the exhaust back by hand and then reassemble the vacuum line. Place replacement sealing rings below the gas ballast valve and then assemble with the vacuum line. Place the wider sealing ring underneath the gas ballast side. On the end opposite of the gas ballast side, place a new sealing ring on the top and bottom. Finally, take the reassembled vacuum line and screw in by hand. Then tighten the bolt with a 14 mm flat wrench. Turn your pump on and test the vacuum pressure. Allow the pump to warm up and reach ultimate pressure. Do not continue to operate your pump if you notice any unusual sounds or odd behavior. You've completed the diaphragm valve and gasket replacement on the Pfeiffer Vacuum MVP015 diaphragm pump. For more information, please visit our online store at ajvs.com or give us a call at 1-973 249-0854. You can also email any inquiries to info at ajvs.com. Our service technicians are standing by.